Hello everyone, we're here today at our annual audit conference in Madrid. We're with Anne-Marie Garvey, who is a professor in accounting at Alcala University in Spain. She has very kindly worked with us on an IFRS workshop today, and we're taking the opportunity to talk to her a little bit about, um, you know, how we can recruit talent retention, what can we do differently, and her perspective as an academic. Very nice to meet you, Anne-Marie. Thank you very much, Christina. So, I mean, we are seeing real, a real decline in interest in the profession. We have a lot of difficulty recruiting. Do you see the same thing at universities, at school? Is there less interest in accounting as a degree? Um, yes, we do actually see uh, students less interested in getting into the profession. Um, I think young people today have um, a lot more things that they find a lot more stimulating maybe than learning uh, audit rules or accounting rules. So their idea, their perception initially is maybe negative in regards to that. Um, of course, that's not the case really when they actually go to work in audit because then it's, it's very, very different really. But I think another of the reasons why is that they have this concept of uh, very long hours that they're going to have, especially in the initial years, that they're you know, going to be working um, many hours, which is normally the case. So um, this is not attraction for young people today, um, the way it was for, say, our generation going back, you know, where we, you know, we were delighted to get into the profession and we were delighted to develop ourselves in that way. Um, young people just seem to have more, they want more work-life balance and they're kind of demanding it, if you like, um, from this early stage. So what's the feedback you get once people actually got their foot in the door, they started a degree, are they still very skeptical or do they develop a lot more interest in the profession? Do they feel a lot more encouraged and maybe, well, do they look forward to their career? Okay, I think this is an interesting question and I think it depends very much on the focus of the teaching methods. Um, unfortunately, you know, we have such a short time with the students in some of the modules that it's not always easy to, um, you know, give them the idea of the attraction of the profession, if you like, and it, they kind of think of it more of the standards that they have to learn, which at the end can be quite boring and tedious as well. Perhaps what we need there is a little bit more firms coming in and explaining to them, you know, what they would actually be doing, which in many cases, maybe that's not in the case of Spain, might be done in a master's program. But then, of course, those students have already decided that that's the um, type of um, profession that they want to, to follow in the future. But in that case, then we lose those other students that might be very good at the profession, but that haven't seen that, you know, um, the profession can be attractive and offer so many, you know, financial stability and interest and you can do so many things in this profession at the end of the day. It's, um, very global. Well, that brings us very nicely to our next point, which is really about, you know, what can the profession do? Very often when we have these conversations, everybody's saying, well, we can't recruit, we can't retain, we're not attractive. Why are schools, universities not providing the people with the type of knowledge and expectations that we would like to see? Well, I ask you the question from your point of view, I mean, what could we do? Is there any help that you would need as an academic from the profession to maybe make it easier for you to recruit students, to maybe demystify a little bit what people think an auditor or an, or an accountant does? Yes, perhaps um, the, the key thing there might, might be the um, working hours. I think that that is one of the most important things with the young people. If um, the profession maybe could um, offer a more, you know, balanced life, um, work-life balance, then they m might be more interested in it. I think that that's something that the firms can do. Um, I know that that's not easy because we have 
you know, the contradiction because you're expecting, um, you know, the, the number of students who want to go into the profession are declining and then we're asking for less working hours uh, at the same time. But uh, certainly um, then you have other factors, obviously um, increase in, in salaries, etc. But what I notice with the young people as well is that, you know, you even the extra salary is not always a compensation for them because they give so much importance to this life, you know, balance that they want and um, that, you know, obviously increasing the salary can only work up to a certain point as well. But uh, yes, and I think that bringing the firms into the universities, I think this is a, a great idea to get them in, talk to them from the very first moment, explain to them what the audit profession is all about um, and take away this concept of you know boring standards which at the end of the day we have to teach them and uh, we can try to make it as interesting as possible but um, you know if somebody comes in from the real world they, they love this Ooh. and then it gives them that opportunity to know what's really happening yeah, that, that's really that's really useful for us, and there are you know obviously points that we can take into consideration as a network and as member firms. You've already touched on some of the, you know, maybe opportunities that the profession has to offer, relative financial stability, an interesting career, a lot of you know variety of work. I mean, would you say that everything else being equal, becoming an accountant or an auditor is still something that can be aspirational today for young people? Yes, I think so. I mean, um, the profession is something that you guide yourself through because at the end of the day, you have your basic uh, education. And if students go into audit after uh, college, well, then they have another certain number of years of preparation there but then they can take a decision. I mean, they can decide whether to continue in audit or, you know, then the number of opportunities that, um, um, you know, some, take a, a side way from the, the profession itself are enormous, you know. Uh, you have, uh, even in research or in financial uh, controllers or financial directors, whatever, we have so many opportunities um, out there, I think that it uh, is um, perhaps they just don't know about this possibility. I think maybe that's the, the case from the beginning. So, here from Madrid, from our audit conference, a really encouraging message the profession is still a really good pathway, good career, you know, encouraging for young, young people, also encouraging for our member firms and the network. Thank you so much, Anne-Marie. Thank you very much, Bettina. Thank you very much.